Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. I'm really excited about today. Today I'm going to be showing you some Dollar Tree storage hacks for your quilt room. And I have some fun things to show you. Uh, I had a few things I needed to tell you before we get started. The first thing I wanted to share with you is that I will not have a video uh, during Thanksgiving week. I'm going to take that week off and I wanted to show you my newest t-shirt. I just got this one. It's so bright and colorful. Um, so be sure you check out the description below for so many quilty things. It's an itsy shop and there is a coupon code. Be sure to put that on your order. That is an affiliate link and that helps to support my channel. So if you order use the coupon code. Okay, so those are the two main things I wanted to tell you, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this little thing that I've made to hold my design boards. Oh, I need to clean those with my sticky roller. So what I've done is I've used two um, napkin ring holders and just some command hooks and some... Um, zip ties to make this and then I just hung this on my wall and I'm going to show you that in just a minute and put these inside of it. I'm so excited and then I also put another one together to store my uh, smaller rulers on and I'll show you that but first of all I'm going to show you how I made this. Okay now this is a fun and easy little project to do and it's pretty easy to do okay so first of all you need two wire napkin holders from the Dollar Tree they were just of course a dollar each so we're gonna take the tags off so you're gonna need the two napkin holders you're gonna need three zip ties a pair of pliers a pair of uh, kind of like wire cutters and some command hooks and these are my favorite command hooks to use the ones with the little wire or the little wire hook okay so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna just attach the um, napkin holders together like this and I put three I put three um, zip ties on let me show you. Okay. I put one right there on the bottom and I'm going to put another one right there. And I pull those up as tight as I can get them. one I'm going to put kind of up here and this is going to be the back side and I pull those just as tight as I can get them okay then I'm just going to use these cutters here to cut this excess And I'm also going to cut this extra. I didn't like that extra black stuff on there. So I'm going to cut that off too. Uh -oh, I'm going to have to be sure to pick that up. Milo will get into that. Ah, oh, those are hard to... <laughs> Got to be sure to find those. And one more. I just didn't like all that extra stuff. Oh my goodness. There we go. So there you go. And it's held together really well. Okay. And then I'm going to take two command hooks. Okay. 
Okay, so this is kind of an important thing to do here. And what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of pinch these together. Just need to pinch those down so that it's more like that instead of like open as far as it is. So you just want those bent in just like that. Alright. Alright. And then these little command hooks are just going to hang on the wall. And they're going to hang up there just like this. Let me show you. They're going to hang up there just like that. Now let me show you the two ways I've used these here in my quilt room. Okay, so here are um, just my little design, portable design boards. I just love how those look and they're so easy to get to. And um, I'm going to hang another one just on the uh, other side of the window. Man, I really, really like that. Okay, let me show you the next way I've used these. Okay, now here's the next way I've used that, and I've just put my smaller rulers there. I had them here in this storage uh, piece, but this was kind of crowded with my larger rulers. And I had to kind of dig for the smaller ones, so I, I like how that turned out. Okay, so there are two tips for you. One to hold your design board, and the second one to hold your small rulers. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you are just these cheap little pocket, zippered pockets. Now, I have quite a few others that are more expensive than these, but these are going to do the trick too. I decided to put one of my little first aid kits and some lotion in, some Kleenex in a bag. Uh, you can toss that in your retreat bags or your travel bags. Uh, I think I'm going to put this one in my car because I have some of that already in my um, sewing travel bag, but I thought those were pretty neat for just a dollar. I mean, wow. But look what I did with this one. Okay, so these are drawings that my husband does. I love his drawings. And um, I always have graph paper piled around. And I have my pencils in another location. So I decided just to put them together. So now all I have to do is reach for this notebook. And then there's just a pad that I put at the back. It has regular paper, some of his drawings and some graph paper and my colored pencils right there. Ooh, I tell you, I'm liking these ideas. Okay, then I ran across this for just a dollar. So I decided I've been printing off some um, free quilt patterns. This is Kimberly Jolly's um, mystery quilt, her All the Trimmings mystery and I really like that one so I printed that off and I'm just going to keep those in here. I don't plan to print off many of those but they're going to be right there in this neat little folder and I just like the texture on that and it has labels where I can label it. So that is tip number four. Okay my next hack which would be hack number five are these little glass jars. These came from the dollar tree. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put these yet in my room. I still have a little bit of picking up to do. But I thought those would look so cute with my bobbin clamps and my different tape measures. My granddaughter loves to get my tape measures out. And just um, binding clips. Now I have a bunch of binding clips, but um, 
I couldn't find them all. But I'm going to be cleaning some more, so I will. But how cute are those for just a dollar? And I didn't label them because you can see through them. But I thought those were just super, super cute. Okay, the next thing I want to show you, I have these, I had these up in one of my cabinets, but I just recently cleaned out my cabinet and I'm going to move this somewhere else. I'm not exactly for sure where I'm going to put it, but I also um, took what was in it, threw a bunch of stuff away, and I decided to put buttons in this. But here I have just all these buttons here. And then this wasn't purchased from the Dollar Tree, but these were. And they're just little plastic containers. And I have tons and tons of buttons, loose buttons. And I'm going to sort them all and I'm going to put them by color in these little jars. And I'm going to put them in here. I could even glue like a green button on top, a red button, so it would be a little bit easier for me to find. But they're clear and they're not hard to see what's in those. But I like those little containers. I've used them again in my in uh, one of the cabinets I just cleaned out. So this is tip number six, little jars for buttons or whatever else you might want to put in there. Okay, so if you're still here, you want to be sure to watch to the very end because I'm going to show you a cute little Christmas idea using items from the Dollar Tree for maybe your quilt friends. So watch to the very end. Next, I want to show you, I just reorganized another set of my cabinets. Um, last year, I reorganized these right here, but the cabinet just across from there on the other side of my TV was in desperate need. I'll try to show you a picture before and after of that horrendous mess. And uh, let me show you how I've used some different storage containers to help organize that space. There it is. I just don't even hardly ever get in this cabinet because it is so messy and it doesn't even make sense. These, these two containers, they open this way. I can't even get into them without having to take them out of the cabinet and everything's just so jam piled in there. there it's just not functional at all. Okay, I'm so happy to be able to show you this. Um, the before picture was not pretty. But now it looks really nice. And just a tip, uh, I've shared this with you before, but always try to label your containers because just at a glance I can tell what's in there, especially for the containers that you can't see clearly through. Okay, so now these containers right here came, act, these containers right here actually came from the dollar general so they weren't as cheap as the Dollar Tree but I already had these here because I used them in my other cabinet and I liked them so much I bought some more but let me show you the containers that are new all right these are new right here and I just really really like them they're just small little containers these have some ink pads in them but they have these super cute little latches that are going to hold them secure. And they're, they're a little flimsy, but they're nice and sturdy enough for storing, you know, craft items in. And then this is another one. These, I have some punches. I like to scrapbook too. And these just hold punches. But these are all that goes on there nicely. And they're clear. I try to always buy clear containers when I'm doing organizing. And they, they're stackable. So I really like there. Here's, here are three more of them. These three right here. These hold my little um, twine ribbons. I love those little ribbons for making labels and uh, adding embellishments to some of my craft projects. Now I did not label these because I can clearly see through. These are just some little plastic containers again from the Dollar Tree and the lid goes on nice and secure but I like them because they have like a little grip a little place you can just grip and pull them out there and what I put in those I put uh, just some uh, key ring stuff that I've used to make cute little lanyards and key rings and then this is some more of these little containers and I bought some bells I've been wanting some bells 
for some of my Christmas crafts. And I'm just going to pour those in there. I have two bags of those. those right under there. And look how nice and neat those look. I have two different sizes of the bells. So those just go right in there. And then these will go back right back in there. And there you have it. Those are four additional containers that I used to organize this cabinet. And I love the outcome. My other cabinet has stayed clear, clean, ever since I organized it last year. Yeah, in 2020, I did that first video. So, or one of those first organizational videos. So, anyway, those are um, four more hacks for organizing your cabinets and your craft items. Okay, so my number 10 storage hack from the Dollar Tree are these little wire baskets. Now, um, I just wanted something to just put my little rulers in. Uh, I don't know that this is my favorite, but it is functional and it will work. So that's number 10. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun for me, and now I just have to pick up this mess a little bit to finish um, putting things away and getting my room in order. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Please share with a friend. I'm trying hard to grow my channel. And then as always, leave a comment in the comments below. I love to get the comments. And there was such a nice discussion on my last video. Oh, I, that's one of my favorite parts of making videos. So be sure to leave a comment. And again, I try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting. And remember, Thanksgiving week, I won't have a video, but I'll be back after that with a super funny video starring Wes and Jared. So now for the bonus tip for a little holiday gift for your quilt friends. They have these little clear holiday ornaments. Look how cute those are. And look what you can do with these. Whoops, those are my binding clips. And you don't have to fill it full, but that is so, so cute. And they could even find a place maybe in their craft room to hang that, especially if they have pegboards and they could store whatever they wanted in there. And then um, you, could put, you could put a number of things in there. You could put these um, bobbin clamps. You could put tape measures, pins. And these could just be little additional gifts you put in their Christmas bags.